gotta use the <laughs> the pistons to force it in there. It's like, ah, she'll get in there one day. Alright, so that was one tree. Didn't take long at all. We'll grab one more. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Honey, I'm a perfect ten. Whoa, whoa. Hey guys, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with me, Tenzin. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I hope you're doing pretty good. If you guys like today's episode, please like and share as you see fit. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. While we're at it, I'm also going to say thank you so much, you guys, for all the support on the channel. It means a lot to me, <laughs> and I'm glad that you guys enjoyed the video and the con or the videos and the content. But today, <laughs> I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. Now, by a lot, like you're not going to see a lot done. Um, I spent, I'm going to say, almost a full day trying to figure out a good way to cut down trees, like building a good vehicle that would do it. Now I did make quite a few different types of uh vehicles and one was like one that you would pull up to the tree it would grab the tree the saw blades would come in cut the tree down and then the the tree would fall uh straight down hopefully going through all the the saw blades and being cut up didn't work out all that great um these smaller trees you could control or they were small enough where you know the weight wasn't uh, an issue but when you got to these large what do you want to say redwoods or whatever um, yeah, they're just so big that you actually, and there's so much weight behind them that it would just rip my machine apart or it would just, uh, push the hydraulics apart and then it would just fall out onto the ground. I tried a, a different type of vehicle, one where you cut down the tree and then you drive over top of it. You cut all the, you know, all the wood and then you grab, it would grab the, the logs as you drove past it. Kind of worked, but the problem was is that the logs would kind of scatter every once in a while if you didn't, uh weren't doing it just right so I finally settled on a design that I'm liking at the moment um I need to refine it uh, make this vehicle a lot better than what it is but as you guys can see at the moment there's a saw blade on the front here so cut down the tree and the nice thing about scrap mechanic is that they haven't taken away the the ability to weld trees I actually they did take it away and then they brought it back but they've definitely made it so you can't do that with rocks anymore <laughs> which is kind of a bummer we have the refinery bot here attached to ugh, a chest right there and then as you guys can see we have a wall of blades here and then two resource collectors on the side more or less you cut down the tree in the front put this pipe that pipe there then you weld the tree to this pipe take the pipe away it falls down onto this rail and then you turn the blades on and if you can't zoom out any further and then i have it so this actually lifts up and the tree is fed down into the blades now i wanted to i was trying to find stuff that had like low friction um because when i first tried this it was kind of causing a little bit of issues or it seemed like it was i had wheels in here and the wheels were kind of pushing or they were rotating forward to push it into the blade but it actually seemed to be holding up the tree like the the, uh, the tree would slide very very slowly so then I went to the glass and it slid a little bit faster, but I found a little trick and I'll show you guys the trick in a minute. But yeah, I had to extend this <laughs> quite the distance for these guys. So we'll uh, go cut down some trees. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. So there, there has been an update. Ooh, there has been an update to Scrap Mechanic, just so you guys know. A couple of things have been changed or fixed. Sorry, I shouldn't say changed. They fixed a couple of issues, um, but there is still a issue. That I, actually, it's a new issue that I've noticed. And um, it's when you put the your vehicles on the lift. Sometimes the sound is there, and then other times it's not there at all. But as soon as you take the vehicle off the lift, it's completely fine. There we go. We got that going. Mm, yeah, we'll grab this one. Why not? And I do have a four-way four -way steering or four-wheel steer steering on here. And as you guys can see, it's not... I can't really... The wheels actually... My front wheels and my back wheels turn the exact opposite. And that just helps me with uh, cornering a lot, a lot better.
This is the future. the future. I definitely want to improve this a million times. Um, instead of being able to do just one tree, do like three or four. And then instead of having just one set of blades like this, have another set on top and just have them fed in. Now, you guys are probably wondering why uh, I didn't just make a, a vehicle with a trailer, I guess you'd say. Because uh, there are some out there that have all of that at the front, kind of. And then they have a hydraulic or, hydro or pistons, sorry, at the back here. And people just drop them into the back of the trailer and then they push them forward. Now, the only reason I didn't do that is because everybody else has kind of done it. And then secondly, it's a little more, um, I'm going to say difficult because if you're going for these big trees, you need a massively long trailer, right? Whereas this using uh, gravity to help feed it in to our saw blades isn't causing us any, you know, any issues. Um, it's a little bit slower than those types of trailers, but it definitely works. Now, I did increase uh, our very back piston to 15. So this one right here should go to 15. Hopefully, these don't try and lock out at 9. And it should try and lift this almost as high, well, as high as it, it can go. But what I do want to show you guys is the smaller trees. So, like this, bust some branches off. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it's a little difficult to find the hitbox. This. They really need to work on friction in this game. Just so it's, a, you know, easier for us to uh, build vehicles that aren't going to slide around all over the place. Where's that brain? There we go. We're like, eh, nope. I was about to lift it up. There we go. So, three, lifts her up, two turns on the blades. So you can see that it's taking a little bit of time, so if you just back up, slides right into the blades.
All right, so I processed everything we had, all the wood that we gathered in that time lapse and during the night, and pretty much it was just enough to do that distance there. I've been working on all of this <laughs> so far. It's not, you know, it's not easy to get a lot of material. When you think you have a ton of material in the game, you really don't. Uh, we do have a lot more to go, or a long ways to go, because this part is the easy part, I guess you'd say, or is the shorter part, because from here to that, it's definitely longer than this gap here. So, <laughs> it's going to take some time to get this uh, bridge done, and that's why I did go with wood, because I was like, oh, wood should be easier to get while I was waiting for stuff to be done. I put uh, these, what do you want to call them, the... Uh, Cylinders, I guess you'd say, or rollers. Now there's a bearing on each side of them, as you guys can see. So hopefully when we put a tree on here, maybe, maybe, just if we're super lucky, it'll go a lot faster. It'll, you know, slide down those rollers a lot quicker. So let's go find out. Actually, we'll try it out on this tree right by our base here. And the volume's still glitched because uh, I had this up on the lift. So there's some sounds coming through. They're, they're slowly coming back. But yeah, it takes a while for this uh, sound glitch to unglitch itself. So here we go. Oh, great. Right on top of our vehicle. Ah, not right on top. Just to the side of it. Alright, and I forgot to keep one of these, so we're just going to steal one of those. Now, because of this tree, it will be a little, probably a little harder to uh, get it to work on the rollers, just due to the fact that um, it is fatter. All right, so I went through the night, made the adjustments to our vehicle that uh, have increased the benefit of it <laughs> by a million fold, pretty much. Uh, I did make a second, uh, or I did install a second set of blades here. Put some chain link fence around so that, you know, we're a little safer. I don't have to worry about getting eaten up by the blades too much. Where's our lift? Lift is here. With these bigger ones, it's just easier just to, like, know that it's going to be too heavy to drop right so um got that got a little bit of lag going on here some frame rate issues no biggie and away we go so yeah i think like look at that it's kind of interesting too because it looks like the top blade destroys everything that's on top and then the bottom is sucked in to be destroyed by the bottom blades you watch there they go but this vehicle has worked out so well. Like uh, we harvest so quickly that this refinery can't pick, a, uh, can't keep up with it, which is great. Um, yeah, it's like the log slide at like an amusement park. That's what I keep, or what I keep thinking it looks like. Right when you're about to go off the drop, holds you there for a couple of seconds, and then oh. Gotta use the <laughs> the pistons to force it in there. It's like ah, she'll get in there one day. All right, so that was one tree. Didn't take long at all. We'll grab one more. 
I did knock it down. We're not too far away from our base. Our base is just on the other side of that hill there. But I was looking for these redwoods versus anything else. Ugh. Can you imagine if they made it so you could cut down that tree? <laughs> like, yeah, there's uh, enough wood there for the rest of the game. All right, you guys, there it is. It's working really, really well. Uh, obviously, you guys can scale it up yourself if you decide to, you know, build something along these lines. It's interesting that the conveyor belt did actually work better with no wheels than with wheels. Um, and yeah, like, it's just... I'm just blown away at how well this is working. Um, with those two trees, that the two redwoods that we finished off there, there were so many blocks left over that uh, felt some stuck in the blades. <laughs> That they haven't pulled yet. I think we just have to, yeah, knock them around a little bit. Hmm. Either way. Works. But yeah, it, this, we filled up both of these with those tree, two trees, two redwoods. So, uh, I, I do notice, though, um, like the gas engines work great for, you know, uh, the tools, I guess you'd say, like the drill bits and, uh, the saw blades, because you can really crank them up and the RPM goes really high. And they don't, the higher you crank them up, the more likely they are not to jam. Um, and then the electric motors are awesome, or engines, are awesome for like climbing. They always, like going up this hill, there was, there's like no uh, reduction in speed. It just constantly keeps climbing, which is great. Obviously, your top speed isn't the greatest, although we're pretty close to maxing it out. Um, we just really need to get back to... I thought I had more than enough batteries built. And really, after today, we've burned through most of them. I had something like 50 or 60 glow kicking around. And uh, yeah, that, I've, I've used it all. Because <laughs> I'd like to also just switch everything over to um, electric power. Especially if we can make it fairly easy. Um... Actually, let's run over here real quick because I know we got some garbage wood. There we go. Get this garbage wood beam uh, built into or crafted into cardboard so we can start feeding our guys. Because I was thinking, you know, there's this oil geyser right there. I'm thinking we might or we probably will look into it, see if we can't set up like a the sensor, a vacuum tube, and a vacuum pump. And I'm, you know, we'll build it up. And we'll put a chest on the very top here and see if uh, we can't get it. So every time that the oil is created, the, uh, the pump goes off and sucks up the oil that's sitting on top. Hopefully that's how it'll work or it can work. Obviously, it'll be a passive grab. So that'll be nice because it'll just be kind of pulling it in whenever. Uh, it wouldn't be very economical unless there was like three or four um, oil geysers in one area, right? Kind of like over there. Or there. We gotta see how close they are. And we have to see how... Um, if it if it's even possible. But, either way. That's gonna do it for this episode, you guys. So if you guys like the episode, please leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.